Hey there, Tony Policastro here from Tony's Acoustic Challenge. If you're a guitar geek like me, you look forward to that point in the day when you can finally sit down, relax, grab your guitar, and have some fun. But nothing can spoil that fun more than a buzzy instrument, which is why in today's video, I'm gonna help you identify where that buzz in your acoustic guitar is coming from. Now, I want you to stay to the end because there's gonna be some surprising ways that your guitar can be buzzing, and you need to know about it. Now, before we dig in to the different buzzes and where they could be coming from, I wanna identify two distinctly different categories of buzzes. We have mechanical buzzes, which can be coming from your guitar because of the truss rod or other metallic things or strings and things like that. And then we also have technical buzzes, which can be caused by your playing, how you approach the fret and things like that. So I'm gonna go over both of these here, but I'm gonna start with the technical buzzes because those are actually pretty darn easy to fix. So the first reason your guitar may be buzzing is because of your fretting location. Here's an example. If I'm on the second fret of the D string, but I'm way behind the second fret, this is the note that, this is what the note's gonna sound like. It's gonna have this weird buzz. This is a really easy fix because instead of being way far away from your intended fret, I want you to be right next to your intended fret. Not on top of it, but right next to it. That'll clean up the note significantly and put you in the sweet spot the fret. The next reason you could be experiencing buzzy strings or muted chords is because you're fretting with the pad of your fretting finger instead of the finger tip. This is also really simple to fix. I'm going to share with you two ways to fix this, okay? So fretting with the, the pad of your finger is not so good, right? We're going to get some really clunky muted notes. So what I want you to do is make sure that you're fretting the string with your fingertip in the sweet spot, and what I want you to do is introduce some arch into your fretting hand or your fretting fingers. And the way that you do that is by taking the palm of your fretting hand and bringing it closer to the bottom edge of the fretboard. This will introduce more arch into your fretting hand and allow for good clearance for those open strings and a good, strong fretting posture for your fretting finger. And last, but certainly not least, and this one is extremely important, I want you to have the right amount of pressure when you fret. And it's a delicate balance because you don't want to be white knuckling the guitar strings, but you don't want to be loosey goosey either because if you're not putting enough pressure down, you're going to get a really puny sounding note, which is why fretting in the sweet spot allows you to put just enough pressure, hold the string down just firm enough against the fret to, to get a good solid clean tone. So that's the technical end of the buzzing spectrum. And it all really focuses around proper fretting approach. Right in, the sweet so right in the sweet spot, right on your fingertips and good arch in the fingers with the right amount of pressure. Next, let's move on to the mechanical reasons your guitar could be buzzing. And these are gonna actually be pretty easy to remember because we're gonna start with the headstock and work our way towards the body of the guitar. And in fact, the first reason why your guitar may be buzzing might not even be the guitar itself, it might be the shirt that you're wearing. If your shirt has a zipper or a button on it or a pin of some sort and you're holding your guitar close, that zipper or button might be buzzing against the guitar back. So this is a real easy fix. You can either change your shirt or just move the guitar a little bit away from your shirt. I should add a disclaimer here. You should not be playing an acoustic guitar with zippers on your shirt because it's not good for the finish. Okay, I digress. Moving on. The next reason your guitar may be buzzing is from the tuners. Specifically, the bushings or loose metal parts on your tuners. Now, this guitar, I chose to use this for this video because it actually has loose tuner bushings and it sounds a lot like this. Kind of sounds like a maraca. This is a really easy fix. I just haven't done it yet. All you have to do is take a small dab of wood glue with the strings off of your guitar and put it right underneath those bushings and that'll help them from not rattling. It'll make them nice and solid so they don't bop around and create that metallic rattle. The next place I want you to look is behind the guitar's nut. Sometimes what happens is if the nut slots are cut too shallow, the there might be this weird buzz or sympathetic overtone originating from your strings behind the nut. This is another really easy fix. All you have to do is take like a little small piece of leather shoelace or even just a standard cotton shoelace and thread it in between the strings and that'll stop them from ringing behind the nut. Next your guitar's truss rod might be rattling. Now, I know this sounds weird. It's like, how the heck do you know if your guitar's truss rod is rattling? Well, this guitar happens to have a rattling truss rod as well. This guitar, if I knock on the neck and hold the strings quiet, 
you'll hear this metallic kind of little sizzle going on in there. Well, that's the truss rod nut just kind of loose, just hanging out there. This is also actually a really easy fix. It sounds a little more intense, but I can assure you it's actually quite easy. Just take your truss rod wrench and go ahead and snug up the truss rod nut. Now, keep in mind, I'm not telling you to tighten your truss rod here. I'm just telling you to snug up the truss rod nut to the truss rod channel so that it's not rattling around when you play the guitar. Again, that's one sounds more scary than it is. It actually is quite common because as your guitar vibrates over time, that nut on the truss rod can actually loosen. The next thing I want you to check is the ball ends of your strings. When you change strings on your acoustic guitar, you put the ball end into that little hole, you put the bridge pin in, and you want that ball end to sit right up against the bridge plate. Well, sometimes, for whatever reason, it doesn't. It just hangs a little bit below the bridge plate. Well, what can happen then is as you play, that ball end starts to wiggle around and cause a weird rattling sound. This is really easy to fix. All you have to do is make sure that your bridge pin is seated nice and firmly. Don't press too hard, just make sure it's nice and firm, and then pull up on the string, and that'll make sure that the ball end sits right up against that bridge plate. Furthermore, on the inside of the acoustic guitar, especially if you have a pickup, you might have a wire that's touching the top or the back or the sides of the guitar. And when you play, the top, back, and sides vibrate, hence vibrating the wire, hence causing a weird rattle or kind of buzzy sensation. Again, another super simple fix. All you have to do is loosen the strings, reach inside, and pull that pickup wire away from whatever vibrating surface might be happening. Now, before I get to the really detrimental ones, I wanna let you know that strings do indeed wear out. So if your guitar is buzzing, it might be because the string windings on the bass strings, the E, the A, the D, and the G strings, they might actually be separating from the core wire. And this usually happens down by the saddle, especially if you haven't changed your strings in a long time. So the best fix for this is to, well, just get a new set of strings and put them on. That might solve all of your buzzy woes. Now these last and final reasons your guitar might be buzzing is definitely cause for you to take your guitar to a luthier or repair shop, okay? So if your guitar's in its case and it takes a hit, or maybe you haven't been as urgent about humidifying your guitar, your guitar might develop a crack or maybe even a loose brace. If this is the case, don't panic. It's totally okay. It, everything is fixable. But you might be getting this weird buzzing sensation from inside your guitar. If it's a loose brace, that brace is just kind of hitting against the vibrating top of the guitar, and it actually will cause for this really odd sound. It's almost like a slap back delay. Or furthermore, if your guitar has cracked, those two surfaces might be vibrating against one another, causing some sort of buzz or rattle. Again, if this is the case, please take your guitar to your local luthier or repair shop. They can certainly cleat the crack or adjust that loose brace, glue it, and, and make sure it's nice and solid so it's no longer causing an issue while you're playing. And then your guitar is structurally sound again. Now, if you've gone through everything in this video and you think, man, Tony, these are great tips, but my guitar is still buzzing and I cannot figure it out. It's okay, we'll get to the bottom of this, but your guitar may be in need of a setup. The truss rod might need to be adjusted, the frets might be uneven, there might be a hump in the fingerboard, the nut slots might need to be adjusted. Whatever the case may be, it's all fixable and you can get it done at your local repair shop or with a local luthier that does a setup on your guitar. This way you get your guitar back and it plays just like new, buzz free so you can have a super fun experience. Now I hope this video totally helps you identify the buzz and ultimately extinguish the buzz in your acoustic guitar. So in the comments below, let me know which tip helped you. And if you have any tips that you wanna share with your fellow guitar geeks that have helped you in the past, you can do that in the comments as well. And if you're ready to have way more fun with your guitar and experience progress every single day, you absolutely need to check out Tony's Acoustic Challenge. It's an acoustic guitar program like you've never seen before. Go ahead and click the link in the description below or here in the video to learn how Tony's Acoustic Challenge can help you take your playing to the next level. And don't hesitate to request your invite today.